Howdy YouTubers, Michael Roster here and with a quick lesson on a very misunderstood uh, musical direction that a lot of players don't do much research on and the word is, or the direction is, maestoso or the English translation majestically. How do you play a piece majestically? Um, this direction is usually right at the beginning of a score on a piece of music and um, a lot of players don't do much research into it and I think it's I think it's quite misunderstood um, from my knowledge when it comes to musical directions it's all about what the composer actually wants so you have to research the composer's style on what they how they how they interpret a piece that might require you to read their biography or you know do some other research on you know but um, it also I think also comes down to how much you you the player have listened to as well your listening experience now just off the top of my head I can name a f about a handful of pieces that are marked maestoso and those are um, there's a Rachmaninoff prelude, piano prelude, um, number two. I want to say it's Opus 23, but I'm, I'm not. I can never remember that number. Um, there's the piece that I played earlier, which was "I Vow to Thee, My Country" by Holst, and um, check that video out. I tried to play it as majestically or as maestoso as possible. Um, Another piece would be, um, off the top of my head, would be John Williams, the composer. Um, the, you know, the Star Wars theme, you know, when the Emperor walks in. I think it's called the Emperor's March. Da, 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 da. That bit. Um, that's marked maestoso in the score. I, I just know this because I, I like to read scores and, you know, you, you, you see these things. And uh, so... Um, but I did Wikipedia it, and I came up with a few other examples. Um, there's a few Mozart ones. Obviously, there's Beethoven's Ninth. Um, so these are pieces that are marked maestoso. And um, but I chose to use for an example is "I Vow to Thee, My Country" by Holst. And um, check out the vocal arrangement by the London Philharmonic um, as, as another example to listen to a piece played majestically. So how do we play majestically? Well I think there's a few rules that should be obeyed when it comes to this. Um, obviously you have to check out what the composer really wants but as a as a as a uh, rule I when it comes to tempo, the tempo should be steady, like a march. And um, I always, for some reason as, as well, when I when I see a piece that's labelled maestoso, I think of trumpet fanfares and um, kind of things like that, like a procession, stately procession going through the, the, the streets, you know. So the tempo really is pretty constant. However, we all know that if we put rubato in a piece, that brings it to life. It's more vocal. And um, But when it comes to pieces labelled with this direction, the rubato should be short. And I hope I try to do that with, with the piece I chose and played. So please check that video out. It's, you know, the, it's 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 kind of like you're slowing down the rubato piece bits of the of the score you you're slowing down but you're you're not you're not overemphasizing it you're not you're being very subtle in in a way and you a good rubato is when you slow down and then you speed back up again it's like if you imagine the piece was double tracked and it's and you've got two two uh, the same the two pieces on two different tracks 
and one slows down and then it speeds up and catches back up with the other one as the other one is constant. That's good rubato to me. I know that probably doesn't make a hell, <laughs> a hell of a lot of sense to people, but when it comes to rubato, slowing down and speeding up in a piece in, in little sections is good. So you you but when it when a piece is labelled maestoso, you, you have got to be very subtle with that. That's how you play majestically, in my humble opinion. So um like I say, a lot of players don't really do much research into this musical direction. Um, it can be for pieces slow and fast, but the majority of players do see it as uh, a piece that should be played allegro. F for me, allegro is a little bit too fast on guitar, um, so I kind of I I kind of say moderato. At the, you know the top end of moderato, so it's kind of like you know, oh, I don't know, over a hundred beats per minute, you know, somewhere around there, um, hundred to hundred and twenty, somewhere around there, but um, that's just my opinion. So, um, as as a player and as a listener for years and years, um, that's what I've gathered and used for pieces labelled with this direction. And um, like I say, I'm just giving you what, what my experience is. Um, I did do a little bit of research on this for, the, for this lesson. And I would like to thank my brother, Peter Rossiter, um, who also gave me a little bit of input into it too. Um, incidentally, if you're ever in the UK and you want to check out a really good pianist, check out my brother, Peter Rossiter. Fantastic uh, musician and pianist. Um, great teacher as well, and uh, if you're in the UK, check him out. Check him out. You 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 won't you won't be disappointed. Um, so thanks, Pete. Um, but uh, yeah, Maestoso. If you read in all the books, it just says English translation stately, which is not much help. So use those things I've I've said there. Take a piece, play it Maestoso. That means. You know, keep the tempo constant, and when it comes to slowing down in, in sections, be very subtle. And um, for me as well, the volume should be kind of constant as well. You know, not too much, uh, not too much uh, difference in 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 piano and, and forte. But for me, like I say, when I when I see the word, I instantly think of trumpet fanfares. So it is. It is mostly for pieces that are not quiet, you know. So, uh, I hope that makes sense to you. And um, please check out my other videos. And uh, check out the I Vow to Thee, My, my Country by Holst. I've been Michael Roster. Thanks for your company. And I'll see you on the web. Bye now.